What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out on this cloudy Monday. Doing well myself. And I hope you guys had a very, very nice relaxing weekend as well. As you guys always know, I always say, mine's went well, but it went too fast. You understand how that is? These Mondays just roll in so quick. Man, it makes you wonder how time can go so quick. You understand what I'm saying? But to get into this particular situation right here, we have an ex-employee who was fired. Her name is Tynese Ransom of Popeyes in Louisiana. Okay, now you know how Popeyes slogan says, uh, Popeyes, you just love that chicken, something like that. But in this particular case, obviously this particular Louisiana uh, Popeyes must love roaches. Okay, and that's what it is. You know, <laughs> I'm telling you, wait till y'all see what I'm talking about. Some of you already probably have already seen the video, but nevertheless, I'm covering it because when I seen this right here, I said, this is just downright filthy. You understand? Now, Tynese says that she was fired basically because uh, she shared a couple videos, um, TikTok videos, you know, um, about Popeyes, you know, while she was at work, you know, and, you know, her manager, well, she didn't like that or what have you, you understand? So, Tynese decided to get revenge, you know, by actually reporting or filming these roaches in action, you understand, while at work, you see. Now, she claims that she had reported <clears throat> to her manager that, you know, these roaches was a problem and they was getting into the food like the rice and stuff like that. And the manager did not want to get rid of the food whatsoever, claiming that, well, this is product right here. Not caring that this stuff was actually contaminating the food. The roaches was what I'm saying. The food was contaminated and she was still allegedly serving this food to the public. OK, and that's what it is. So, without further ado, let's check out this particular video and we'll get Tynese's um, side of the story and then we'll finish the commentary. Just got fired from Popeyes for recording in a public place. But if you didn't know, I recorded them roaches too. But they needed my help so they didn't find me yesterday. For come today, they need my help so they fired me. Hmm. The reason why? Why I brought you in, why I brought, why, why I'm here, why I brought you in here. And that is? Uh, about that TikTok. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, about that TikTok. Oh, no, that's against, uh, no, that's against Popeye's policy, right, to record in, uh, to record inside the restaurant and to record employees. Anybody that's employed Popeye's inside the restaurant, were you aware of that? No, I wasn't. You wasn't? Okay. Unfortunately, you know that you wasn't aware, but, you know, uh, I mean, you did a video, I mean, you stated her name, and, you know, TikTok is very violent, right? Right. People tend to share this, so, unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go, okay? All right. All right. Why y'all go past? You gonna roach right here? Roach like a motherfucker. Oh. I ain't no motherfucking way. Then that whole pregnant is full. Shit, what if you got them later? Damn, another one. Just had the baby when they turn on their back, they had babies, bro. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. That shit crazy. Like the way they said food. Boy. Who finna clean this? Bitch, y'all better get it done. Shit, man, it's the motherfucking idiot. Roche 
nothing. It's just not, that motherfucker big as hell. Look at Ain't no motherfucker way. I agree. <laughs> Shout out to Chinese Ransom for reporting this filthy ass restaurant. You understand now the manager had the nerve to fire her because she recorded some videos and you know what I mean in while in the restaurant. You understand and you know uploading them to TikTok. She had a problem with that, so she fired her. I wonder what corporate, when they see this particular video right here with this filthy ass, nasty ass restaurant right here that people have been frequently eating from, I wonder will they fire the manager? Because clearly, this is poor management right here, a restaurant, poor management. You understand? They were supposed to shut down and have this place fumigated and got rid of these nasty ass roaches. You understand? This is what I'm saying about these restaurants, people. Look, the thing is this. It's better that you just don't run the risk by eating at these particular restaurants and cook your food at home. You understand? I mean, as we know, not only Popeye's, but there's other restaurants as well that things like this is happening with, you know, as far as rats, you know, mice, whatever. You know, we've seen it uncountless times. You understand? About these nasty restaurants who don't care nothing about the people they serve the people who come in and keep the restaurant going you understand because they like the food and this is how you repay them you understand by serving them roach infested food because you know good and well when you saw that roach jump into that rice you understand it's laying eggs and everything else in there and then like this woman said Tynese just said that when she talked to her manager about this particular situation right here she didn't even want to throw the food away talking about this is product this is product you understand you know I wouldn't doubt that when a lot of these customers who ate at this particular Popeye's see this particular video or all the videos is out here circulating about this situation will turn around and sue this place you understand because you won't get you won't have some health problems no doubt because you ain't supposed to be eating cockroach you understand in any way shape or form that's just what it is this is sick man you know again shout out to this sister right here for exposing this filthy you know manager i blame the manager first and foremost because when she saw this particular situation, she's supposed to jump on it. We got to shut down. We got to shut down and clean this place up. You understand? She didn't even have the decency to do that. Okay? She needs to be sued personally for this situation, right? This is the only way you're going to stop it. But in the meantime, in between time, my people, my suggestion be to you. Cook your food at home 
Then that way, you'll know that your food is clean. You know who's over, who's standing over it and what have you. That's all I got on this one, people. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular video right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.